people went to bed last night in Roswell, New Mexico and woke up to being flooded. They have got floodwaters up to the gas pumps. Actually, above the gas pumps. It's insanity how much flood water is there right now. And so, I'm asking that we pray for the people. But, the Lord had me look at the New Mexico volcano. And I was looking at it. There's a super volcano there for, for those of you who don't know. And the Lord showed me that that volcano is waking up. And it is, it's ready to go. But the Lord also showed me that he is holding it back for his perfect timing. And I just got to look in at other volcanoes. And I was talking to Sister Shelly and Shelly said, hey... We had a friend that had to get her pipes flushed because they were smelling sulfur in their pipes. And she said her husband was smelling sulfur in the water when he was watering the plants. And that the water tasted a little bit like sulfur. And you know, um, I've mentioned this in another video, but around the ring of fire, they're smelling sulfur all over the ring of fire. It is waking up like nobody else's business. The underwater volcanoes, they gave a warning because one of the one of the last and final warnings that an underwater volcano will give before a major eruption is they call them lava balls. And because of the ocean they become flat and kind of smooth and round. But you also get what's called wet lava, and it looks like white, goopy stuff. And it kind of smells like a little bit like olive oil. I did my research on it. And so, that stuff is starting to pop up all over the ring of fire. We are seeing sinkholes. We're seeing earthquakes. They're not even reporting everything that's going on. With the earthquakes, the volcanoes. Oh, the government's trying to keep a lot of it. A lot of it is just hush hush. A lot of it's like slided under the slided under the mat. And we're we're seeing this pattern. We're seeing everything come together. And I mean it it's it's crazy. It's off the charts. And I could go on and on and on about this. But, you know, I come on here not to, I come on here because I want to tell you the truth. I want the name of Jesus to be lifted high. And God is warning us. I don't come on here to fear monger. I don't come on here to mock and scoff. I don't come on here to spread lies. I don't come on here to give you misinformation. I come on here because the truth of God's word, the truth of his message needs to be known. And, you know, the truth is Bible prophecy is leaping off the pages. Everything is falling into place. We are very close to going home. And I tell you guys what is coming and you know, the dreams and visions that God has given me and many others, and God has given us confirmation, I come on here not to scare you. I come on here to warn you, to give you the correct information so that you can make a decision to either accept Jesus or reject Jesus. I don't come on here to make fun of any brother or sister in Christ. I tell you guys to pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ. I tell you to lift them up. If you've got an enemy, pray for your enemy. And, you know, I'm asking you guys to lift, lift someone up in prayer. That I just found out took my content and chopped it up. 
and made a video with my content. They took about 20 videos and chopped them up real good. And they put them into a 5 minute and 45 second video. And they added some stuff in there that this person, I mean, this person sounds like they're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. They sound like they are the most loony patoony person I've ever, I don't know. But, you know, which made me kind of laugh at the video. I'm not mad at the video. I'm mad that they used my content and didn't ask for it. But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story right there. But anyways, um, you know, when we come across stuff like that, we just need to lift this, we need to lift these people up in prayer and we need to give them to God because God's going to deal with these people. People that come against the body of Christ. People that come against children of God. God is going to deal with these people. The seven years of tribulation is a time of God's wrath. Right now, we are, we are in the age of grace. And I am so grateful that we are in the age of grace. No weapon formed against me will prosper in the name of Jesus. I know, uh, I know where I stand with Jesus. I know where my hope, my faith, and my trust lie. I know that I can always lean on Jesus. I am so grateful for what Jesus, for what Jesus did on that cross. I am so grateful that he shed his perfect, precious, innocent blood. I am so grateful that he paid our sin debt on the cross. I am so grateful that he gave us the age of grace. I am so grateful that Jesus can forgive us of our sins. I am so grateful that Jesus loves us beyond all measure. And that we have nothing to fear. I'm glad that our battles belong to the Lord. We are to cast all our cares on Jesus. We have the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us. We have the Holy Spirit that is restraining within us. I'm beyond grateful. Jesus is so amazing, you guys. I hope you choose him. But if you decide to reject Jesus, I accept him. Because that's your personal decision. God gave you free will to accept or reject him. I hope you make the right decision. I hope you choose Jesus. But if you find yourself left behind, don't say you weren't warned. Because you were. I want to see every single one of you in heaven at the marriage supper of the Lamb. I cannot wait to be up there with you and Jesus. I cannot wait to give Jesus a big old bear hug and tell him thank you to his face. I can't wait. Jesus is so amazing and he's our bridegroom and I am so excited to be to know that I'm going to be in the presence of my Savior forevermore. No more sorrow, no more pain, no more death. How amazing, you guys. All glory goes to Jesus. All glory, honor, and praise to our King, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. All right, well, I'm going to get off here. I hope you guys have a great day. There's so much going on in Israel. Let's keep praying for Israel. Um, I don't have time to cover a whole lot of the news of what's going on in Israel and stuff. But I'm telling you, there's a lot going on. And we've got to keep our eyes on Jesus. We've got to keep our eyes on Israel. <sighs> glory, 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 glory. We, we are almost home. Alright, well, I'm going to get off here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll either see you in my next video, or I'll see you in heaven. Bye, guys.